<laughs> well, hi everybody. So today we are doing an unboxing and this one is a very special one because for the first time in quite a long time I actually have a brand new subscription box. <laughs> so I've been doing Japan Crate for over a year now um, and then back in the summer, early summer, I started with uh, Umai Crate which is done by the Japan Crate company. Um, and it's very similar to Japan Crate. So I've been thinking about branching out and trying something a little different. I've been debating uh, what to do, what to get, and I wanted to kind of go into the new year with trying out a new box or two. And I thought about something like uh, Loot Crate, which is a lot of like nerdy, geeky, gamer type stuff, but I personally feel like I get more value out of crates that have food in them. So I ended up subscribing to the German Food Box! <laughs> So this is from germanfoodbox.com and it is basically exactly what it says it is. <laughs> it's a box of German food. Uh, you get six to eight ingredients in every box. Uh, it's a monthly subscription. This one's a bit more expensive than Japan Crate, Umai Crate. It's $50 for a subscription. And uh, you get, it looks like uh, sausages or candies, chocolates, uh, snacks of all sorts, as well as recipes. Uh, so it's a bit like the Umai Crate in that it's more of a meal type box. And check out the aesthetic of the yeah, box. Yeah, it's a very it's so cool, cool packaging. I guess that's part of the deal. Um, it's like wooden. You got the little pretzels on there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, taste of Germany. <laughs> oh. So yeah, I love German food. Um, and it's something that you don't always get a lot of. And so I just thought it'd be really cool to try something uh, more Western European as opposed to Asian for my uh, snack crate. So yeah, so this one I'm trying out just the one month subscription. I'll see how I like this. Um, might just be a one shot, might not. We'll see how it goes. So this one I'm just gonna dig right in and supposedly this is um, a Christmas theme box, I guess, because I ordered this early November and uh, I guess the December crate which this is supposed to have some Christmas themed stuff in it. So <laughs> without further ado, time for the inaugural opening of German Food Box. I am so excited <laughs> to see what's inside. Ooh. So Therabox? <laughs> kind of like Therabox. It has a lot of the uh, the paper um, packing material here. And we also have, we have a little gift card here. Refer a friend, $10 off for you and $10 <laughs> off for your friend. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a neat little the gift right off the bat. And of course, uh, oh, 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 so oh. what I'm noticing here, I'm just trying to orient myself. Uh, it's just a little postcard that says Merry Christmas, uh, German food box. And we've got Santa Claus and some reindeer flying over town. So just a nice little card. There's just nothing on the back. It's just a nice little postcard. See, this is to confirm it is the <laughs> December box. <laughs> yes. So now you definitely know it is Christmas box. <laughs> Underneath, is, uh, similar to Umai Crate, a oh. recipe. And this looks amazing. It is Bratapfel German-style baked apples. Oh, oh and that looks so good. Um, so it has all the ingredients as well as the instructions on the back. I'm so looking forward to oh my making this maybe uh, during the holiday week of right tomorrow. time off of work for a change. Uh, <laughs> it looks like just any, this looks like ingredients you could just get in a supermarket. So I don't know if the ingredients are going to be in this crate, but yeah, this looks like a lovely winter treat. <gasps> Definitely going to have to make those. All right. So now that we got the paperwork out of the way, <laughs> time to dig in. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so the first thing I see is a big old bag of pfeffernusse. Do the fur 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 furs! Which are like a, a German spice cookie. Yeah! And I love these! These are so good! And they're so, like so hard to find around here. Oh. Um, especially like authentic German gingerbread cookies like this. Oh, so good! So yeah, pfeffernusse, just a fun fact, my heritage is uh, part German and my grandmother, my Oma, uh, she used to like these and we have these around Christmas time a lot. Um, wow. So, oh yes! <laughs> I haven't had these in quite a while. These are definitely very cool. Let's open these up, why not? Yeah, let's do it! <laughs> it's Christmas after all. <laughs> in, in the spirit of a food crate unboxing. In <laughs> the spirit of food holiday. <laughs> so here, you oh. see, if you're not familiar with Pepper News, it's just like a round iced gingerbread spice cookie. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> 
oh. Mm. And like you bite into it like a molasses cookie, mm. but it's not like hard. It's just like, mmm. Mm. <laughs> so good. You are, are all jealous. <laughs> I can like hear your moans and groans behind the camera. <laughs> Yeah, these are so good. <laughs> Definitely gonna have to finish these off by the end of the week because this is Christmas week <laughs> while we're filming this. Um, so these will be a wonderful addition to our Christmas meals. <laughs> hey, you got a snowball. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, as you pointed it out. What is this? It's a rock. Oh wow. What is that? Oh, okay. We have stolen Christmas cake. Wow. It's like a, uh, a fruit cake, <laughs> kind of. Uh, raisins with orange and it's like a powdered sugar dusting. Right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you, this is worth the 50 bucks. <laughs> this is high quality, like you're getting your money. Look at this, it's a loaf. It's literally it's a whole loaf. Big as your head. Have Christmas stolen. Just, you get like a, a whole cake. It's, you, it's yeah. amazing. This I will not open because it would make a heck of a mess. <laughs> But I guarantee you, this will be part of a uh, Christmas meal. <laughs> yeah, just bring it. Yeah, by okay. Kuchenmeister. <laughs> Cake master. Uh, yes, all right, I'm very excited. This is really good stuff, especially for Christmas. Like, I love that these are things that I'm familiar with um, from having traditional German snacks around Christmas time in my life. And this is cool to have these things. And next yeah. up, we have Glufix Naturwein Gelmischung. So, I don't really know German at all. Uh, my brother knows German. He could probably translate this like that, but yeah. Uh, this is some sort of tea. It looks like orange and cinnamon spiced tea. It's all in German, though on the back they have a sticker that tells you the ingredients in English. It's uh, cinnamon, orange peel, cardamom, sweet blackberry leaves, and smoked cloves. They also have the uh, steeping instructions in English, so that sounds really good, like a nice cold winter day drink, just hearty spiced fruity tea. Oh, that sounds so good. Yeah, I'm not gonna try butchering German, trying to pronounce all this stuff. Oh, that sounds very good. <laughs> Next we have... Oh, <laughs> uh, again, as um, someone who has had a lot of German treats, marzipan is another one of my favorites, and this is a little bag of marzipan balls. That's rare. <laughs> yeah, again, marzipan, good, authentic German marzipan is something that's hard to find too, so this is... <laughs> this is now we're gonna open this too! <laughs> oh, <my darn. laughs> ah. Wow, marzipan. Yeah, I used to get marzipan around Christmas time every year growing up. But I never had marzipan balls like this. Usually it's in like a chocolate coated log or sometimes in uh, fruit shapes. Um, oh yeah! You get like a box and it'd be shaped and colored like different fruits, but never a ball like this, so... Wow. Mm, yep. That yeah, is good. <laughs> I think I've only had these once. <laughs> and this is like really weird to have again. <laughs> yeah, Mars Band is definitely a treat. Yeah. <laughs> so next we have... Now, Ritter Sport is a uh, chocolate bar you can uh, sometimes find in grocery stores, but... I've never seen caramelized almonds. That sounds really, really good. This is like the Hershey's with almonds, but like the apex level of it, because Ritter Sport is just a really good chocolate as it is, but caramelized almonds, that sounds really good. Um, so always good to get some German chocolate because they make really good chocolate. This I will not open uh, for this video, but I'm looking forward to trying it and sharing it. <laughs> it looks like we're Ooh. getting down to the bottom. Uh, so we'll go with this, which looks <laughs> so fun. It's a little low. No, okay. This is Christmas pasta. Whoa. This is a big bag of Christmas shaped pasta. There's Christmas trees. Uh, it looks like shooting stars. Shooting stars. Little uh, Santa Clauses. <laughs> this is really cool. And it's uh, red, green, and white, the Christmas colors. You got Santa Claus, Von Axman. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, tomato wow. and spinach noodles. This is just, yeah, really cool. Full size. <laughs> yeah, again, everything. you are getting your money's worth of this. Like, this would be. Easily like at least fifteen dollars you buy it in like a specialty food store or something. All this stuff would Visitor be visitor center. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the stuff is you, you'd have to go to like a, a specialty uh, cooking or food store or international food store, and it would probably be like one thing I noticed is there is no like pamphlet or anything that tells you what things are or how much they cost. Which I mean, a lot of this it speaks for itself. Uh, there is enough English on it to know what it is, or just being able to recognize it because I've had some of this stuff before. But yeah, I definitely guarantee you this would be fairly pricey <laughs> as well as all the other stuff so far. So definitely getting your money's worth. <laughs> all right, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and we are down to last but not least. <gasps> we have Speck and Resin <laughs> spiced biscuits. Now this I've never really seen before, but it looks like a pretzel-shaped 
um, biscuit with chocolate coating on one side and I'm guessing that's sugar crystals on the other. Often on the Vader Schleisen. Reseal it. <laughs> well, it's resealable. They, they said so, yeah. If you've seen any of my uh, <laughs> Umai Crate or Japan Crate videos, it's resealable. So. <laughs> Oh my, All right, yeah. that looks like rich chocolate right there. <laughs> it smells like uh, snickerdoodles a bit too, like a spicy smell to them. So yeah, on one side you have the dark chocolate coating, and the other side it's sugar crystals and it does look like cinnamon, smells like cinnamon. This is like commercial worthy. <laughs> yeah, look, at so... look at that! <laughs> look at that! Look at that! So. Wow. Mm. These are really, really good. Wow. I would love to be able to find these in a the store. I would buy these. For sure, every Christmas, if I could. Yep, okay. So, a lot of these, they do have the nutrition facts and the ingredients and stuff on a sticker printed in English because, again, these are authentic German uh, treats. They come from Germany. Um, and then I, I really appreciate that they tell you what these things are in English. So these are spiced biscuit pretzels with dark chocolate, cinnamon, <laughs> mit feiner Schokolade, <laughs> with fine chocolate. So that is what we got. Um, I'd say that this was definitely, even if it's just a one-off thing, to get something full of all these like fantastic German Christmas treats right like three days before Christmas, this yeah. is fantastic. So we have the spiced chocolate covered pretzel shaped biscuits. We had the Christmas pasta in fun Christmas shapes, a big old bag of it. We have the marzipan balls, which are very good. <laughs> uh, the caramelized almonds Ritter Sport, just something I've never seen in this variant before around here. <laughs> Gigantic <laughs> Christmas stolen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm looking forward to having that. It'll be breakfast for like a week or so. <laughs> Glue fix, oh. <laughs> which sounds like just really uh, excellent cold day drink. The Pfeffernusa, so good. So, so good. <laughs> it's like very nostalgic for these. And then on top of everything, a recipe for some delicious spiced baked apples, um, which I'll definitely have to make in the near future. So there you have it, German food box. The December uh, Christmas German food box. Um, I am intrigued. I think I will see what the next box brings. I, uh, I'm interested enough to keep my subscription going at least for another another box uh, and see what I get. I'd say this was easily, easily worth the uh, subscription price. Uh, if you're interested as much as I am by this, the details will be in the description below. The website, the subscription options, kind of a little overview are going to be on the site germanfoodbox.com. Yeah, very happy with this. A lot of fantastic treats. You have anything else to add? Can we just say how specifically oriented they are to Christmas and the holidays? Yeah. Like, they're so specific for the holidays. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it's just amazing. The like regular foods, but they're holiday foods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, again, a lot of the stuff, like having a, a German grandmother, just like stuff that she really liked and would, we would share around Christmas time. So, ah, <laughs> so good. So worth it. So worth it. Ben, if you're watching, subscribe to this box. <laughs> and if you guys liked what you see, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we hope you have a wonderful Christmas and a great rest of your day. <laughs> Bye. Bye.